Hi, I'm Chevis Davis, the owner and the creative director of Paint With Faith. We're so excited to have this virtual experience with you. Here at Paint With Faith, we are a motivational painting experience, and our goal is to get you motivated through art. We also believe that if you can complete this painting class on today, then what else could you achieve in your life? Your goals, your dreams, or your desires? What could you achieve with just some motivation, some guidance, and just some faith or belief in yourself. So we want to encourage you to paint with faith. Well, I think we said enough. Let's go ahead and get to painting. Hi everyone, my name is Chevis. Say hi Chevis. Great, well, we're Paint with Faith, a motivational painting company and we're so excited to be with you on today. Now, one thing we want to encourage you to do is to be motivated and excited we motivate you through art. So before we begin, I need you to repeat after me. Are you ready? Here we go. If I believe, now I can't hear you. I want you to say it loud and proud. If I believe, I can achieve. Fantastic. That's all you need to do to do this class on today. That's all you need. Today, we're going to be painting something wonderful and exciting so get ready we believe that there's no mistakes in art just room for opportunity so guess what nobody's gonna make a mistake today maybe a happy accident but no mistakes so here we go before we begin there's a couple things that we really need to do because we got to make sure that we have the right mindset to do this wonderful creative artwork before we begin I need you to snap your fingers Snap, snap, snap. Now, this is gonna make sure that we have pure positive energy. If we have pure positive energy, this class will be so much fun and so much better. So, the snapping is for this. In case you have a negative thought like, I can't do this, I'm not good at art, or someone says, hey, that doesn't look so nice. What you can do is then snap out their negativity. Snap, snap, snap. Come on, snap with me. Snap, snap, snap. Now, once you snap out all the negativity, you can accept all the positive and creative energy to come inside this wonderful, beautiful artwork that we're about to create. So, are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? The first thing we're gonna do is grab our materials so we can get started. We'll first grab our canvas, all right? It's called a canvas because we believe that you can do it. I need you to say it. I can't do it. Exactly. It's not called a canvas. It's called a canvas. Go ahead and grab your brush and get the color yellow. And let's begin. Brush and yellow. The first thing we're going to do is make kind of like the letter A. Okay? We're going to start right at the top. We're going to look right in the middle. All right? So let's split our canvas in half and make an imaginary line right in the middle of our canvas. And then from there, we'll kind of make the letter A right at the top. One, and two. Very good. I know that's light, but we're gonna start with the color yellow. All right, from there, we're gonna kind of make a rainbow shape. We're gonna go right through that shape to make the letter A, but with a curved line. All right, so let's make our A with a curved line. And then we're gonna, from that, make a rainbow shape. Looking good, looking good. Fantastic. That's looking great. All right, from there, we're going to Kind of make like a smiley face right at the bottom. All right, we're gonna come from this side and we're gonna curve all the way around and come right back up. We're not going to connect it. We're just gonna make a smiley face right at the bottom. You ready? Here we go. So from here, we're gonna come around right close to the bottom, very close, and around right close to the bottom, 
very close. There we go. It's kind of like a smiley face now. And then from there, we're going to connect the two shapes and two lines together. So just come straight down. Very good. And then the same thing on the other side. Very good. Excellent job. It looks great already. So from there, we're going to go ahead and kind of make another rainbow shape. All right? So we're going to go up and then down. We're just going to do it on this lower part of our shape. We're going to go up and come down. Very good. Excellent job. All right? Very good. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, we're going to make a unicorn. So we have the basis of the face now. Let's go ahead and create some ears. We're going to make a line, a curved line, right towards that corner. A curved line right towards that corner. So we're just going to go up, loop, just like that. Excellent. And then we're going to come back down, loop, just like that. Excellent. Now, we're going to make one more curved line and split that ear right in half. Right here. Curved line right to the middle. Perfect. You guys are doing an excellent job. Alright. And art is called balance when you do one thing on one side and the same thing on the other side. So let's create some balance. We don't want to have a unicorn with one ear. So here we go curved line to that corner and then a curved line back to the head. No need to rush, you can take your time. And then a line right in the middle. Do you have it? Very good. Excellent job. So, so far we have the head shape, the ears, and the horn of the unicorn. Let's keep going. So since we already have the yellow, let's go ahead and color in the horn all yellow. Alright, so we're going to make a round shape right here to complete the horn and then we're going to fill it in all yellow. Let's make sure that we smooth out our paint, very smooth. We don't want it to be too thick because then it may take very long to dry. So let's smooth it out, smooth it out, no clumps, no lumps, smooth it out. No clumps, no lumps. Very good. You guys are doing a great job. Let's keep it going. No clumps, no lumps. Excellent. You're doing a great job. So the next thing we want to do is clean off our brush. This is one of my favorite parts of doing art, mixing colors. So today we're gonna to make the color pink. First of all, I've been an art teacher for over 12 years, so I have to give you a pop quiz. Sorry, it's an easy one. How do you make the color pink? You're right. You mix red and you mix white. So when you look at your plate, you have your red and you have your white. Let's take a little bit of red over here and let's take a little bit of white over here. We're going to mix the two together. Now, you can mix it to your liking. If you want it to be more red, add more red. If you want it to be lighter, just add more white. There you go. I'm happy with that. You can always make more if you need more. Here we go. Now that we have our pink, we're going to paint all around our unicorn. So let's start here. Let's go a little bit around the ear. And it's okay if you go a little bit on the yellow. That's what it's there for. The yellow is a guide to keep our shape in place. So we'll go around, taking our time. It's no rush because we want this to be very nice. Going around, going around. Going all the way around, taking our time, no rush, 
going right around that yellow and we're filling it we're filling in those spaces we're filling in those spaces we're almost done with this side and then we're going to move over to the other side again there's no need to rush just take your time art is about being patient so go ahead filling those shapes looking good you guys are doing an excellent job you're staying with me and there's no need to rush Now, let's work the top, around the ear, okay, next to the horn, okay, and we're going to round the head, okay, then we're going to fill in that shape. Looking good, looking good. This is a patient process, keeps me calm, keeps me cool, and it's okay to see those nice brush strokes. I mean in, I don't mind those at all. So we're just gonna fill in this top area. No need to rush. Take your time. If you need to make more pink, go for it. We're not going anywhere, we're right here with you. Alright, filling in that shape. Looking good. Here we go. Let's do the other side of the head. Right next to the horn right next to the ear right on top of the head filling that in again if you need to make more pink go ahead we're right here with you no need for us to go away perfect we got that top ready and then we're going to go on this side of the face we're almost done with coloring the background right next to the ear excellent right next to the side of the head again there's no mistakes in the art just room for opportunity so if you need to reshape your head this is the time to do it you can just reshape it with the pink Again, if you need to reshape the head, just reshape it with the pink. We're almost done over here. Let's do this last bottom piece. Again, taking your time. It's no rush. You can just outline the shape first and then fill in the rest later. Outline the shape first and fill in the rest later. This is looking good. Very nice. We'll give you a second to go ahead and finish up. Once you're done, go ahead and clean your brush. It's that time again. Time to mix some colors. I'm so excited because we're going to mix one of my favorite colors. The color purple. Alright, here we go. Pop quiz number two. Again, it's going to be easy. How do you make the color purple? Okay. You're right, you mix red and you mix blue. So what we'll do is we'll take some blue over here and we'll take some red from over here and we'll mix it together. All right, just around and around and mix it together. Now, if you want it to be more blue, add more blue. If you want it to be more red, add more red. All right, we got a nice, beautiful purple right there. I like that. So with the purple, we're gonna fill in this part of the ear. You can go ahead and paint over that yellow line if you need to. All right, again, the yellow line was just a guide. So we'll fill that section in all purple. Again, take your time. This is not a race and you don't have to rush. That's beautiful. 
excellent job. Fantastic. All right, let's do the other side. Again, we're gonna fill in this little shape right here. Again, you can paint over the yellow. Coming down here. And then fill it in that shape. Very nice. Again, we wanna smooth that out. No clumps, no lumps. Looking good. Very nice. Excellent job. All right, we have the two ears done. Next thing we're gonna do is we wanna fill in this front part of the face. All purple. All right, so if you need to, make some more purple. All right, so we're just gonna go around, filling that in. All the way around, take your time. It's okay if you go over the yellow line. The yellow line, again, was just a guide. All right, getting more purple. If you need to make more purple, maybe you ran out, go ahead and do that. Coming around, coming around here. Perfect, coming around here. I'm gonna fill in this whole shape, all purple. Got a little blue in there, that's okay. Again, there's no mistakes in the art. Just room for opportunity. I'm just gonna come back with some more red. I'm gonna allow those colors to work together. You know what? Colors are friends. So they like to work together. They like to hang out. Sometimes they might even like to go to the movies. But colors always complement each other. Which means that when you mix them or put them next to each other, like to work together. Colors are one of the things that always love teamwork. So we're going left and right. We're just going to fill in this last section. Almost done. Again, take your time. Don't rush. And let's smooth it out. No clumps. You got it. No lumps. So smooth that out. No clumps. No lumps looking good very nice we feel that all the way in I'm make sure I round it out this side that side it's looking good I'm feeling it I'm liking it there we go that's looking great all right that unicorn is really coming to life now so let's clean our brushes All right, it's your brush all clean. Make sure you clean it very well. Just swish it in the water and dry it on a towel or a paper towel. It's okay, anything you need to dry with will work. You just wanna make sure your brush is nice and clean. So, let's get to our next color. Now, we're gonna make a rainbow style hair for our unicorn. That sounds great. I'm really gonna love that. So, first color we'll start with is the color red. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna make a leaf shape pattern, okay? A leaf shape pattern. So we'll come right here at the edge of the horn and we'll make a curved line just like that. And then we'll make another curved line just like that. All right, looking good. Okay, now, Let's fill that shape in. Nice and smooth. Fill that shape in. Looking great. And then we want to make a little curve on it, just at the end. Just curve it up just a little bit. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna clean my brush off again. Next color I'm gonna use is blue. Everybody say blue. Great. Now right above, we're gonna make that leaf shape again. One and two. It's okay to go over the red just a little bit. 
looking great. Now, let's fill that shape in all blue. All right. And then again, I want to make a little curved line coming off and over. I'm going to extend this and make this a little bit longer. It's okay if it mixes with the pink a little bit, that's fine. All right, see that hair blowing in the wind? That's cool. Cleaning our brush off one more time. And now we're going to get the color green. I'm going to make the same leaf shape coming up top. Curved line here. And another curved line here. All right, this one actually looks like a leaf because we're using green. Now, we're going to fill in that shape. Excellent job. Excellent job. And then again, right on the edge, we're going to make kind of like a little swoop, a little curved line. So it looks like it's blowing in the wind. Very nice. And actually, I think I want to make one more with the green. So, I'm going to come right in front of the horn and make one more piece of hair. Again, same leaf shape pattern. Alright, and then we're going to fill it in. Another leaf shape pattern, and then we're going to fill it in. Again, this is a step that you want to take your time, don't rush, and get the proportions right. All right, proportions mean the way and the shape of things according to the size. Perfect. Now we got some beautiful shape, hair blowing in the wind. Excellent job, guys. Our unicorn is really coming together. Now, let's clean our brushes off. And we're going to get the color black. All right? We're going to finalize some of these pieces on the picture. So go ahead and grab your black, clean your brush off very well. And now we're going to bring our unicorn to life. So right here we're going to make right here a smiley face shape. Now this is going to be the eye. The unicorn is going to be winking. So don't worry. So we'll come and we'll make a happy face shape. But this is really the eye. So we're going to curve down and curve back up. All right, we're going to curve down and curve back up. And then we're going to give our unicorn some nice lashes. All right, so we're going to come down one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, some very nice lashes. So I'm just gonna pull close and just gonna pull down from that line to make those lashes. Pull down and over to the side to make those lashes. Those are very nice lashes, very good. We're gonna stay with the black, and now we're gonna make our horn with some curved lines, all right? So it can look like a real horn. So we'll start at the bottom. Well, let's start at the top. We'll make a curved line here, all right? Another curved line here. Very good, another curved line here. Very nice, and another curved line here. Excellent. Now, we're going to begin to outline our unicorn. We're going to get rid of that yellow line that we made in the beginning. So with a very thin line, we're going to make the outline of the unicorn. This is the part where we need to really be focused and take our time. No need to rush. So we'll go around and we're going to color, cover and color in that yellow line. Coming down at the bottom, 
all the way around, cleaning up that edge, very good. And we're coming around on the other side as well. Taking our time, no rush. And we're coming around and coming around. Very good, take your time, don't rush, it's not a race. Coming around, taking our time. We've completed the bottom. Let's do this side, coming around, coming down. And the key that you need to do for this part is make sure you have enough black paint on your brush. If you don't have enough black, it's gonna look very dry. So make sure you have a nice, thick coat of black on your brush. Very good, coming around. Let's go around the ear now. Thick coat of black, very good. Next step, the middle of the ear. Thick coat of black, very good. Next step, other side of the ear. Thick coat of black. You need to do two coats, go for it. Very good. On the top of the head, around the ear. Again, we're covering that yellow line. Very good. I'm gonna make a come around that horn. Very good. On the other side. Excellent. We're gonna skip over the hair, do the other ear. Very good. Other side of the ear. Skipping the hair again, excellent job. Finishing off the ear in the middle. Very good. Perfect. I think we finished the outline, oops. We have one or two more pieces. We're gonna cover this yellow line right in the middle. Again, nice thick coat of black. Taking our time, no rush. Taking our time, no rush. Thick coat of black, one smooth line. One smooth line. So try to make one smooth line. Don't chop up that line. And there we go. That's looking great. And then let's just outline this last piece of the unicorn horn. Perfect, that's looking great. How you guys feeling out there? I'm enjoying this, I'm having a good time, and we're almost done. So, let's continue. Let's clean our brushes off. Next color we're gonna get is the color white. Next color we're gonna get is the color white. So we're gonna get some white, and we're gonna make a heart shape. All right? Now, if you don't know how to make a heart shape, this is one of the easy ways to do it. We're gonna make the nose, the two nostrils, heart shapes. All right, so this unicorn can always breathe out love. So, we wanna make sure we have two spaces right here in order to do that. So the first thing we wanna do is make a V shape. All right, and then space it out, let's do another one. All right, those two V shapes. Now, if you're a professional heart maker, no need to follow my steps. Just go ahead and make your heart. But if not, follow my lead. So we'll come and we'll make kind of like an M shape, almost like McDonald's shape. And boom. All right, very good. Again, M shape, kind of like McDonald's. Boom, and boom. Excellent. Then we're just gonna fill that in all white. All right, looking good, looking good. Smoothing that out, taking our time, not rushing, making sure that heart looks fantastic. 
Put a little in that heart shape. Very nice, very good, very smooth. Fill it in that heart. Very good. The other side, same thing. Fixing that shape. Smoothing it out. Looking good. Filling it up. All right, here we go. Nice and nice. Yeah. Filling that shape up. All white. And we're almost done. Just smoothing it out a little bit. Shaping it up a little bit. And there we go. That unicorn is going to breathe out love. Excellent. Now we're almost done. We've got a couple more things to do. I like to make my unicorn kind of fancy. Do you want to make your unicorn fancy? If you want to, just follow my lead real quick. I'm going to take my brush and clean it off. And I'm going to use the back side of my brush, not the front but the back. I'm going to dip it in the color green. I want to give a little bit sparkly makeup for my unicorn. So I'll just make a little dot right there with green. All right. I'm going to clean the back of my brush off again. I'm going to dip the next color blue. I'm going to make another more dot right there. Another dot right there. Very good. Clean the back of my brush off again. Give me some red. I'm gonna make another dot right there. Very good. Clean it off again. I'm gonna take some yellow. Make a dot. Let's bring this one down here. Alright. Unicorn is looking kind of fancy. I like it. Now if you want to put more dots and more colors, go ahead. No need to stop here. Be creative. This is your time to create. It's your time to have fun. It's your time to experiment. Remember, there's no mistakes in art. It's just room for opportunity. So take as many opportunities as you want to make your unicorn different from everyone else's. This is looking great. We're almost done. Last pop quiz, and this is what you're gonna have to do. You ready? It's an easy one again. What does every famous artist need to be famous? Give you a couple seconds. Three, two, one. You're right. A signature. A signature is something that shows that you created that artwork. And I'll give you one clue. The most famous signature in the world is the Disney signature. If you see Disney, Disney Plus, or any Disney Channel, that signature is Walt Disney's signature. All right. It's the most famous art signature in the world. So. If you want to be great like Walt Disney, make sure you put your name on your artwork. So, you can put your initials or your name or your signature right at the bottom. Today, I'm going to put my initials C and D. For Chevis Davis. That looks great. Now, if you want to be more creative with your painting, there's no limit. You don't have to stop here. You can keep going. If you want to make some more sparklies in the background by using the back of your brush or the front of your brush, making some patterns, go for it. All right, you can make some down here. You can make some up here. If you think your artwork needs more finishing touches, no need to stop here. Keep it going. All right. Be creative. This is your time to experiment and have fun with art. Because your life is a canvas, you can paint it with faith. So, this is our unicorn all finished. Thanks again for painting with me. Again, I'm Chevis. And thanks again for painting with faith. Well, I hope you enjoyed your class on today with one of our artists. Well, remember, your life is a canvas, paint with faith. Make sure you go to paintwithfaith.com and find us at our social media site at Paint with Faith. Again, thanks again for painting with faith. <laughs>